Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Let's get right into this. So this individual said that they took pleasure in confusing a child, but they try to justify why they believe that. Let me get you right into the video. Hey, y'all. I'm getting some comments from some new friends that obviously don't know what's going on here. So I've made about 20 videos about this, but I figured I would make one that's closer to the top of my page so that these people actually can see it. Back in November, I made a post in a private trans teacher Facebook group about how my appearance physically was drastically changing and that my kids were confused about it. I had been at this job for six years and just now started presenting differently. So yeah, there was confusion. At the end of this post, I said, and I quote, <laughs> I enjoy the confusion. So skip forward to Fox News getting a hold of this article and publishing it nationally and all of these people threatening me and telling me that I'm indoctrinating children and I'm a groomer and that my favorite thing to do is confuse children. So let's dive into that. I am trans non-binary. That means I was born as something and I'm not that anymore. It means that I'm not a boy or a girl. That's what trans non-binary means. In my identity, I enjoy people not being able to tell what I was born as. That's kind of my whole thing with being non-binary. Not all non-binary people are that way, but that's my personal, I don't know, aesthetic with it. So whenever someone looks at me and they can't tell what I was born as, that's perfect to me. And that could be a kid or an adult or a dog. I, I don't care. <laughs> So yes, my appearance is changing after being at this school for six years, and obviously kids are confused by that. However, kids are more confused about this because I'm not allowed to say anything to them about it because the district told me you're not allowed to talk about this. So I don't. <laughs> and the kids start asking me questions. Mix Banghart, are you a boy? Mix Banghart, are you a girl? Mix Banghart, are you non-binary? Mix Banghart, why do you have a mustache? Mix Banghart, why is your hair long? Mix Banghart, why is your hair short? And do you know what I said to all of those questions? I'm sorry, friend, we're not talking about that right now. Never answered them. <laughs> and do you know what happens when you don't answer kids' questions? They get confused. So yes, kids were confused, but not because of what I looked like. They were confused because I can't answer their questions. So yes, kids are confused. Yes, I enjoy it. Do I want them to be confused about who I am? No. Are they going to be anyway because of the policies that are in place? Yes. So yeah, get mad about it. I don't know what to tell you. Kind of contradictory there when they say, I, I, I'm, I, I generally enjoy them being confused about it. Do you want them to be confused? confused? No. But you enjoy it? Okay. So for you guys who are wondering, is this a man or a woman? This is a woman who went non-binary, started taking, you know, testosterone, now has a mustache. So if y'all were just wondering, that answered that question. Next question. Should this be okay? Obviously, Yes. Listen, here's another thing that I want people to understand as a teacher, as somebody, paraprofessionals, tutors, whoever you are, administration, whatever you do to work with children, understand it's okay for kids to not have to be a part of every adult situation. I hammer this all the time. Who cares that they know what you are? Okay, if they're confused and you want to live your life and this confusing life you are living, I'm fine with that too. I would enjoy them being confused but I don't really care if they're confused. Their job is not to do that. Their job is to enjoy being a child, to learn the best they can. We as teachers can't teach the kids everything. Now, when it comes to other life skills, such as how to hold a job, getting a job, finances, and stuff like that, budgeting, I can understand those being a little bit, but those are life skills that are taught at some schools. In fact, there's a lot of schools have it specific life skill class, especially for people who are in the special education. So, we could continue to teach that way and continue to go that route. But we don't have to start teaching them about sexuality. Nobody has to start teaching them about this confusing gender identification that people want to go with. They don't need to know that. I'm perfectly fine with them being confused with that. I'm sure they're going to find out when they open up a TikTok one day and they'll understand everything they need to. But the way that this person is making it sound like if a kid is asking, hey, why are you this? Hey, why are you that? Hey, why are you this? It sounds like she is teaching somewhere between kindergarten and about third to fourth grade because I because about 
fifth grade is when people start getting on TikTok and they understand all this stuff. So I think about kindergarten to about third to fourth grade is what she's teaching. And so it's perfectly fine if they're confused at that point because they're really just trying to develop all the skills they need to continue on in this life, which is, you know, learning how to do the math, learning how to spell their name, learning how to get along with other children, being a, maybe not being athletic, but, you know, learning the athletic skills in their PE, physical education classes, stuff like that. They don't need to be learning what your sexuality is and what is this and what is that. I'm perfectly fine with these kids being confused. But let me know what you think. Do you think these kids should be confused? Do you think these teachers should talk about being non-binary? Or do you think they should just leave it alone and let the policy stay in place? I'm going to say the latter. Y'all let me know. Goodbye.